This is my show. No, it's not your show. What are you talking about? Boom! It's my time! My time! My time! And that's the whole Shreveport connection. Alright guys, take a little while. This is part five of the Monday Night Wars between TNA and Raw. Yeah, we're already into um, the third hour on my, my segment because I guess I went over and got the wrong segment. Well, TNA's uh, only went for two hours. Raw was special three, three hours, hours this week because of the draft. Alright, match so. number seven. Dolph Ziggler versus Hornswoggle. Yeah, Hornswoggle. This is the final draft pick of the night. Hornswoggle wins by count out to give Raw the final pick. Ziggler knocks out Hornswoggle. Out with a sleep. Uh, knock, uh, didn't knock him out. Cause, cause, come on now. It's a sleeper hold after the match. Come on, people. Whoever did the result. Alright, dra and draft pick number eight. Goes to Raw, Chris Jericho. Great, so we have to deal with Jericho now on yeah, Raw. Yeah, now we, now we got to cry baby on Raw. Uh, Michael Cole informed us supplemental draft will take place at noon tomorrow, not Wednesday. Jesse Roberts begins to inter introduce the main event, Batista Storms, to the ring. He says he, he should be the number one contender. He says last night was a joke. Batista is furious. Sheamus makes his way to the ring. He tells Batista he lost last night. He says he, he is the only one who deserves to be number one contender. Randy Orton then makes his way out. He says for years he had to listen to Batista whine, bitch. Of course, that's why we call him Bitch Tisa. Yeah. He proposes uh, facing Seamus. Shame on us for watching you. One-on-one uh, -on -one and then facing Batista. Afterwards, John Cena comes out. He makes the match a triple threat for the number one contenders match. Next up. Triple threat for the number one contenders match, Batista versus Orton versus Sheamus. This is a great fast, fast, blah, 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 fast paced triple threat match. Pretty a lot decent. of fighting on the on the outside. Orton is receiving good pops from the crowd. Sheamus get, gets Orton up for the pay, uh, pale justice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but Batista interrupts it with a spear, but Sheamus manages to kick out. The the spear was botched. Yeah, he hit him with the head on the chest. Again. Always. That's what uh, Seamus hits Batista with a bicycle kick. And Orton hits Seamus with RKO. Looks like it's all over, but Orton turns around into a spear from Edge. Yes, yes. Edge came out. We heard this, guys. Edge. Batista yeah. rolls over and covers Orton for the win to become number one contenders. Therefore, Batista is not leaving, at least for till, till the next pay-per-view. Okay, again, Batista celebrates, and, and Edge stares at the fallen Orton, and Raw comes to a close. TV taping stops. Uh, basically, Orton and Batista go at it, and Batista tries to do the, do the Batista bomb, but RKO, uh, Randy Orton reverses RKO. Sends uh, all the crowd home happy. Uh, Tommy, your comments on this week? Uh, I'm sorry, TNA. Yeah. Uh, I like TNA, but man, Raw just dominated. This yeah, Raw. Well, it well, was not even close. Tommy. Come on, yeah, like TNA, become live. You beat their asses. Come on. I mean, really. This week was not even close, Tommy. You told me it was even. I don't even think it was even. It was just. There was a couple of segments that were even. But overall, it overall, was just domination by Raw. I mean, they had the draft. There were three hours. They were L I V E live, live. And, in and in living color. And they, you know, they're even in H D. They're live, not Memorex. Uh, and they're not on Spike. <laughs> but uh, T N A got beat again. Again. Uh, the spoilers for this week: Carlito wins his match, and I believe. Uh, uh, Zack Ryder wins his match, and somebody else wins. But Gail, Gail Kim beats uh, Jillian Hall. Jillian Hall That's for it. Superstars. And you know what? Superstars is meh. Uh, SmackDown, they haven't posted me yet, but it doesn't bother us because it's not live anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, this seems our segment, segment this for the Shreveport Connection. For the Shreveport Connection. We're sorry it took five segments, but uh, Raw was three hours long. SmackDown needed it. Yeah, they needed it. Uh, 
I'm sorry to say, guys, that TNA will not be live this week. It will be taped. Uh, and Law will probably win. Thank you. Again. All right. See you later. Peace out.